Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com and we have a new catalog which means that it is time for another Close to My Heart Twisted Sisters YouTube hop where we take one of the products from the March and April 2021 catalog and show you a twisted way to use it. So I have the stamp set Sweet Fruit and I plan on using that solid stamped image for the apple as kind of like a polka dot to a layout. Now I'm using the color schemes from both collections from this March and April catalog. And the first one is going to be Daisy Meadows, which this peach cardstock comes from. And I'm gonna pull the inks for that Daisy Meadow. All the inks are listed on the zip strip to each one of our paper collections. And then I'll also be using the Eat, Play, Love which is very kitcheny themed. That is the one where the sweet fruit comes from as well. So I'm using Peacock ink to just ink up that solid stamp. Now you might have seen that since this is a new stamp set, I just took my rub and remove eraser and basically just seasoned the stamp to make sure that I could get a good stamped image on my paper. So I'm just stamping these um, in a line down the middle of that peach cardstock and then I am going to start embellishing. So the photo I'm going to use is of my daughter sleeping and then I'm going to cut just some strips of that daisy meadow paper. So I've got sunset, peacock, and then there's definitely some peach um, pattern paper of this little bunny rabbit pattern paper and I'm going to be not using the bunny rabbit um, and that's kind of where one of the twisted um, the twisted techniques, I guess you could say, is I'm using Easter paper, but you won't be able to tell it's Easter after I get finished with it. So I'm also using some zip strips, and I've just cut those into one inch by four and an eighth, and then of course the zip strips are already half an inch, and then I just cut those down to four and an eighth. And the reason four and an eighth is because of this four by four photo of my daughter it just has a tiny uh, mat around it, and so I wanted those pieces of or those strips of paper to be the same height as that photo. So I've just edge distressed those pattern papers with ink and then I tried some stitching to kind of hide that apple stem. Now I did try a zigzag stitch. I didn't really like that. So I am just taking some mink twine and basically just going to add one little stitch all on those little apple stem breaks. You'll be able to see it a little bit closer in the still shots at the end of this video. So for these strips, once again, that is the pattern that has the bunny rabbit. So I just wanted to make sure the bunny rabbit is hidden. And I'm just going to start gluing these down with tape adhesive. Now I chose to do the peach really close to my daughter's photo so it wouldn't get lost on that peach cardstock that I'm using for my base. And then I want to keep those Sundance, which is the yellow color, I want to keep those apart as well. I've got the zip strip and then I've got this gingham paper that's going to go on the outside. So I'm pretty happy with that and I am going to work on my title. So you can see here that I'm using the sticker sheet from Daisy Meadows which has some bunny rabbits and some other Easter themes, but it really does have some pretty um, versatile other images. So I was going to do Sweet Wishes because she's asleep. And then when I laid it on this pattern paper from the mix-in, all I could see was she for, or out of the wishes. So then I decided to change my title to She Is. So I'm gonna just trim down that red pattern pattern paper that my title is on. And then I'm going to be using the sticker sheets from both of the brand new collections in this March and April catalog to fill in what my daughter is. So I'm just gonna add some 3D foam sheets behind that title. And then I will start pulling in the rest of those stickers. So I kind of played with everything that my daughter is kind of lined up right by the title. And then I decided, no, I want to put it in each one of the circles. So that one says sweet, of course. And then there's one that says um, fun or so much fun. So I just cut off the word fun and I'm adding 3D foam tape to these. And then there's one that says happy. 
And so I wanted just the happy and I wanted to save that frame for maybe another project. So I'm just using my X-Acto knife to cut out happy and then I'll trim it down to match the other stickers that I'm using. Um, they've got pretty tight uh, trim around them. So just trim those and again, gonna add 3D foam tape and then put that down. And then for my other sentiments, I'm gonna pull out the Eat, Play, Love and it's got a couple on it that I wanna use as well. So this one says sugar and spice because we all know little girls are some <laughs> full of sugar and spice. And then I'm pulling out our wooden hearts. I absolutely love the wooden shapes that Close to My Heart makes. Now with that Eat, Play, Love, there are some cute wooden shapes that come with it, very um, cooking and recipe themed. I'll leave a link down to my catalog walkthrough so you can take a look at that. So I'm just going to place these hearts. I did just turn them over onto a candy apple ink pad and just rubbed the hearts um, across that ink pad to color them. And I'm just attaching those to the layout with that liquid glass. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna press down on that. It doesn't take long for that liquid glass to dry. And overall, this is the layout. Now off camera, I did add some red stickles that I think just added the perfect little touch to this layout. Now don't forget, this is a part of a YouTube pop with the Close to My Heart Twisted Sisters and a full list of that pop will be down in the description below, as well as links to any of the products that I use. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you like what you saw, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to sign up for notifications. 